Hey everyone! Sorry I haven't made a video in a long time. I've been pretty busy with work and school, so I haven't really had a chance to focus any time on YouTube, but since my car just hit 60,000 miles, I figured that would be a good time to do an update on it for you. Just sort of like an ownership review. Um, what is that? Sounds like there's a fire truck coming or something. Um, but just how it's held up over the last six years and 60,000 miles that we've had it. Um, it's a 2009, and we've had it um, since January of 2009. Um, so basically just my impressions of how it's held up and what I like about it and what I don't like about it after having it for so long. So I'll start off with a walk around of the exterior. So it's held up very well in the six years that we've had it. So well, almost six years. It's a little bit dirty right now. There's some bugs on the front and such. Um, and by the way, I apologize if there's any wind noise. There's nothing I can do about that. But some bugs here and there. But otherwise, there's no scratches, dings, or dents anywhere. That's just some bird poop on there. That's not like any paint peeling or anything like that. But um, it's been through quite a few, a lot of body work, as a matter of fact, because people like to hit it. So um, I, well, the first accident that I had with it was my own fault. I had to have the whole front end replaced. Um, and then last Christmas Eve, someone hit me in a parking lot at the mall, and I had to have this entire part replaced the bumper, the light, and the um, panel there as well. And then this summer, when I was at work, and uh, a co-worker of mine who just quit backed into my car and left, which was awesome. So all told, this car has had about $13,000 worth of body work, and it looks brand new because it should. Um, but other than that, like the paint's not peeling anywhere. Um, the exhaust tips I need to clean up a little bit. They've just got some residue on there, some exhaust residue. But I still think the car looks modern, it looks fresh. Um, it doesn't look out, it doesn't look outdated yet. The styling still fits in with a lot of the modern cars. So I'll bring you guys, um, actually, I just want to show you guys some of the wheels too. Um, a few of the wheels do have some curb rash just cause I, um, I'm not the best with parking it in the city. It's a little bit more, uh, difficult than you think. And then the tires I have on it, these Continental Conti Pro Contacts, I hate them. Enough said. I hate them. I've had one blowout on me. I've had another wear incorrectly. Um, they don't do well in the snow. Luckily, I have snow tires, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, but they hydroplane. They don't have the best grip. I don't like them. Um, one of my friends, Janik, aka WannabeSS on YouTube, um, he absolutely hates these tires, and I completely understand why. Hopefully, in the spring, I can get some new ones. But I'm going to bring you guys on inside, too. So, oh, just to show you guys the seat. Seat's held up decently well. I mean, there's a little cracking here and there, but, you know, car's not a brand new car, so that's expected. Um, the rugs are a little dirty because, uh, you know, it's very muddy and dirty around here. But the, the interior is held up very well. I mean, I make sure that it stays nice. Um, you know, with leather cleaner, I vacuum it all the time just to make sure, you know, it still looks good. There is a little bit of scuffing here just from your foot coming in and out. Just, it's hard plastic, so it doesn't exactly um, wear the best over here. Um, but that's not a problem. But everything else, still very solid in here. The um, armrest on the door, this is the leather is not worn at all. Neither is the stitching. Um, all of this is still very good, very solid. Um, there's really no pieces of the car that um, are rattling or come apart over time. The only thing that really has is this up here. And this actually happened within the first year, year or two that we had the car. My dad was very vicious in pulling the sun visor out and ended up ripping it out. So one of these days I'll have to just get that pop back in because I can't get the headrest or uh, excuse me, the visor to stay up all the way so it drops down. But I'll give you guys a mileage check now. So as you can see, it has 60,976 miles. So just hit 60,000 on the road to 61. I'll start it up for you guys. And the thing still starts up as if it's brand new, which is great. I mean, it is a Honda. It only has 60,000 miles. I know it's gonna go for a lot longer, but I still like it. I'll give you a little rev of the engine too. Still sounds good, definitely. 
especially it's pretty quick when VTEC kicks in, um, not to be the stereotypical Honda driver. And then it has, has the five speed automatic. This still works pretty well. Um, it's starting to get a little bit more jerky as it gets older, um, but that's pretty common of Honda transmissions. Heated seats still work well. I love them, especially in the cold winter and fall weather. Um, the radio as well, still um, still doing very well. I don't think I've blown any speakers yet, so that's pretty good because I, I do blast my music all the time when I'm in here. Um, just some other fit and finish updates in here. This, um, the fabric over here is popping out from underneath the little sill on the door, so you kind of have to pop it back in. If you have people getting in and out a lot, they'll pop it out. Um, but that's really the only issue I have. There's a little bit of... The scuff, this is scuffed a little bit, the, um, alu the painted aluminum plastic here. And then I think they had to take apart the door for the last repair, and they didn't quite put it back nicely. So there's this little mess here that doesn't exactly look the prettiest, but the door's held up well on both sides. And this seat has the back seat as well. It doesn't really get used. Well, it gets used somewhat, but not that much. As you can see, I got some stuff in there right now. Still very well taken care of, no problems there at all. Also, the armrest here, no problems. Um, I've noticed a lot of 8th Gen Accords that have armrest problems that the leather has ripped right off, but mine's still in like new condition, probably because I just I don't put my arm on it when I drive. I usually have both hands on the wheel, so that's why. And then I recently replaced this light just because it went out. Very easy fix, go to Walmart, pop this plastic thing off, go to Walmart and fix that as well. In addition, sunroof still works fine. I've had no problems there. All the power accessories still work as they should, as if the car is brand new. The only major problem that I have, I'll bring you guys outside, I'll pop the trunk. The only major problem I've had with this car is the brakes do not have a long lifespan. So this car was a part of the um, class action lawsuit that Honda uh, was filed against Honda. Basically that the rear brakes, um, they go out very, very quickly. So we replaced these at 30,000 miles, somewhere around there. And then I replaced the front ones at 48. And then at about 59,000, right before I came to school, I had to replace those again. Um, and this time the rotors were completely warped too. So they had to replace pads and rotors, which was not fun. So, but now I'll show you guys the engine, just um, how that's looking. And it's nice that the struts hold it up automatically, which is very, very handy. And Honda's 3.5 liter IVTEC V6 with VCM, um, variable cylinder management, so it shuts off three or, uh, what is it, two or three of the cylinders, depending on, um, you know, if you're cruising or if you're just driving around town. 271 horsepower, 254 pound-feet of torque. Still very quick, um, no problems here. I really like the power plant in this car, and What's nice about it is that even though this, you know, this car will run about zero to 60 in like seven seconds or so. So it uh, is certainly not slow, but at the same time, I've been averaging uh, on my way back from school over my break, I averaged 31 miles per gallon on the way home. So for a V6 with all this power, it's, it's really, really good. And then in mixed driving, I'm getting anywhere from 23 to 24. So with the, in the gas mileage department, even though this, you know, has the upgraded engine, I really, really can't complain. So, but I really, really do like the car. I definitely plan to keep it at least until 100,000 miles or when I graduate college, whichever happens first. So, like I said, I like the car. It's been nothing but good to me. It has survived many accidents. It's been very reliable. It's very been cheap to, cheap to maintain. It's quick and I love driving it. So it'll definitely be in our garage for years to come. So if you guys have any questions, please, please feel free to comment below. I'll be glad to answer any questions that you might have about the longevity of this car. So I really appreciate you guys watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.